Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today is a video specifically directed towards a lot of people that are asking questions lately. I get this question literally every day and I actually just wrote a blog about it. So I'll actually put that in the description below and these two will be connected. But it's actually, the question is, how do I eat low carb at a restaurant? How do I follow Atkins or how do I follow a low carb regimen? How do I follow keto at a restaurant? Well, first of all, I want you to put your comments in this section below. If you have tips or if you've learned things along the, things, if you've learned things, things, sounds like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> if you've learned things along your journey, please put their the tips below because it's really important that we share that information with other members, especially people that are new to this type of lifestyle. Now that being said, I have about four or five things that I actually want to cover to be able to help you along the way. I'm not gonna go too far into like actual meals and stuff like that. I'll touch on a couple things, but for the most part, I'm just going to let you know that tools, tools that you can use on your journey. So the first thing is research. Research is going to be your best friend. It's extremely important that you don't just wing it. You'd be like, yeah, today I'm gonna go to this restaurant and just hope for the best. That's a bad thing to do. That is a very bad thing to do. And why that's bad is because you're not only gonna get there and you're gonna smell these smells and you know, especially if you're new to this type of lifestyle, you're actually going to unintentionally derail yourself. You're going to see other people's food and you're going to, smell the bread and you're just gonna, it's just gonna end really badly. So if you know you're gonna go out to eat, say next Friday, or you go out to eat every Friday, which is actually a very real thing with a lot of families, then do your research, get online, stop by the place, stop by the place and say, hey, what can I work out? I'm coming here next Friday, I'm I'm under some dietary restrictions or I'm, I'm and the thing that you don't realize is a lot of the times you're stressing yourself out over nothing because there's many people that have peanut allergies or wheat allergies or whatever allergies and they actually have to do this as a lifestyle. People and restaurants and companies know this and they are prepared with information to be able to share with you to be able to cater to your specific diet plan. So it's definitely lifestyle, but diet plan to them. It's, it's important that you realize that it's not as big a deal as you're probably thinking. Stopping by or making a simple phone call, going on websites and stuff like that can be actually super beneficial to your lifestyle. The next thing is plan. Like I said before, you need to plan what you're going to do when you get there or when you're going there. Are you gonna take certain portions of your meal with you so that you can familiarize yourself with the things that other people are eating so you don't feel as awkward or you know is it really a big deal to you that you have mashed potatoes okay so pre prepare yourself some cauliflower to actually uh, mash up and put some butter and cheese and stuff like that maybe some bacon bits and bring it with you in a little Tupperware and then you know pop it next to your steak or something like that so you can feel like it's the same feeling you don't feel out of place or whatever so those they those type of things are important to plan if you're going with a large group that you haven't been around for a while it's important to be able to maybe come up with some ways to talk about it or the best thing is just to completely ignore it and have your plan in place. Otherwise, you, you could potentially have 30 or 40 people, you know, stressing you out about it. I personally wouldn't buckle under that pressure. I feel more challenged and I'm like, yeah, let's, let's argue about this, which is horrible. But it's just who I am. And you may not be that, uh, that type of person. You may just, you know, buckle under the pressure. So it's definitely important to have a plan in place. The next thing is self-discipline. If you are new to this, this is actually um, extremely important. I'm gonna go to number six as well. Um, do not go the fifth day in your first week. Honestly, a lot of Atkins approaches say you can go within the first two weeks. Or, you know, don't go within the first two weeks or whatever. Honestly, if it were me, if you're new to this, don't go for the first month. And honestly, you should not be going for the first 
six months or whatever, it's really important that you get a solid foundation of knowledge and self-discipline. You need to be able to go into a restaurant and be like, yeah, I smell cake, but I don't want it. You know, and your fifth day in or your first week in, you're not going to say you don't want that. You, it's just, it's the reality. You're gonna order drinks and you're gonna order this and you get home and you're like, oh my gosh, I failed miserably. You need to build a foundation and you need to know that it's gonna take knowledge, it's gonna take time to be able to build a foundation. You're gonna have to watch videos, you're gonna have to read books, you're gonna have to practice practice, practice. A lot of these things you think are going to happen overnight. They're not. They're just not, you guys. You you have been maybe eating poorly for years or an entire lifetime with some people like myself. And you're just not going to get all the information you need in a week or two to be able to actually go out and make positive choices and know your restrictions, know everything and stuff. So if you're that person that's going out to eat the third day in, you need to take it a little bit more seriously because you're not ready yet. So definitely be careful, especially in the beginning phases of like an induction phase or the early phases if you're following my meal plan. Wait a month, you guys, it's not a big deal. If you know you have some family outings, and I'm not saying procrastinate, but wait until those are over, block out a good month that you can actually learn things and focus on specifically your lifestyle change because it's gonna take you a little while you can even speed up the process, cram tons of information in, and maybe you could make it in two or three weeks or whatever. Just be careful about the self-discipline. That could be a major, major factor. Like I said before, don't go out unless you have something called common sense. A lot of the times you're like, and I hear this excuse a lot, well, I didn't know that cake had 75 carbs and 30 sugars. Yes, you did. You did. Common sense is an easy one. If you get a fajita and you want to eat that fajita, take off the freaking tortilla. It's that simple. Scrape out the chicken, the bell peppers, eat it up. Cool. You know, whatever. If you know you're not supposed to be eating corn, you should not be eating corn. Change it for green beans. You know what I mean? If you've been on this meal plan for six months, you know what you're not supposed to be eating and what you are supposed to be eating. So definitely don't make up excuses. Well, I didn't know because Use your common sense, and if you don't have common sense, you should not be going out to eat. <laughs> I'm just being honest, you guys. Uh, I actually waited a little tip on me. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, you can go within two weeks or whatever. I actually waited an entire year before I went out to eat. Because I know, I know that I was not capable of doing it and bouncing back. I needed a better foundation, a more solid, rock solid foundation, you guys, and that's important. You guys, this is our video on how to eat low carb at a restaurant. I hope it helped you. If it did, also please put your tips in the section below. If you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We have tons of cool links. I have a low carb tortilla, tor tortilla link below in the description. If you're in induction phase, be very careful about what you're doing. If you're in the very beginning stages, you guys, be extremely diligent and careful about what you're doing. If you're trying to stay in ketosis, I would stay out of the restaurants for a little while. Definitely keep that in mind. You could have a lot of people uh, add, you know, just go to the blog and read the rest. You'll see the rest of the information that I put in there. If you're new here, please check out our Facebook group called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. We have an amazing family there and everybody is doing absolutely excellent. I want all of you guys to keep up the good work. It is Monday. I want you guys to crush this week. Drink your water. Make sure you're getting your 10,000 steps in each day. I think I got a Fitbit coming, so that will be back in the mix. I'm actually going to be doing but most likely be doing uh, daily step challenges and stuff like that. So we got lots of great things coming. Check out the links in the description below. Have a great day. Remember to spread love, not hate, and hashtag be stronger than your excuses. Peace, guys.